Hi, I'm Avni Arya and you're watching Nagpur today. I'm at Nagpur's favorite breakfast place which is called the Breakfast Story. Actually, I did not have to tell you that but the Breakfast Story has completed 10 years this year and this place is so nostalgic. You'll see old cassettes here and you'll see old uh, remotes there, old phones there. There are books here that you can sit and read like of so many different genres and the food, I just had the food. Um, it is. I cannot describe it in words how amazing it was. The vibe, the music, the smell, the taste and the ambience. Everything comes together when you're here. So when it comes to the food, they add no sugar syrup, no carbonated drinks are provided here, no artificial flavors or food colors and no MSG. This place gives healthy, soulful food. And we spoke with the owner of the place who is Mr. Mukul Kulkar. So it's been 10 years. Uh, of breakfast story. Yes. So, is there any particular story that you would like to tell us? Something special about the place? Something special or uh, something, something really memorable the, about the place? Something that happened. Yeah. Okay. So, um, on 9th of March 2014, we we said let's start this cafe on 11th of March, two days from then, and uh, then we were debating amongst ourselves as to how many people we should call for the inauguration this that we couldn't come to a consensus so we said chalo aisi chalu kar dete hain and then we said okay um, let's just start on 11 karna kya hai kuch nahi just build us do open the doors no ads in the paper and let's see who walks in so surprisingly uh, hardly anybody came that day because nobody knew anything yeah. A lot of our friends on WhatsApp may have a lot of invitation. Yes, I have a lot of people. But none of those people came. There was a walk in customer. And he was clearly a hangover. He was looking for some place to eat and he found this place open. So he just walked in. And we were so thrilled to see our first guest coming in. You know, It was wonderful to see him. Anyway, so he came and sat and we had a uh, a menu card which we just presented to him. It was like all three, four of us wanted to, you know, talk to him because he was, and he was clearly, he was disoriented a little bit. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> that day we had a special as uh, Thali Pit, you know, which is a Maharashtrian dish. And he said, okay, I'll have that. And uh, along with that, he said, I'll have a side of bacon. So with Thali Pit, he had bacon and that we found it very funny. But interesting also because we had uh, heard of fusion food, but this was like more than fusion, you know. But it was very interesting, and from then that that particular day, there were hardly three or four people. But eventually things picked up, and then you know. But that day, I found it really funny that you know <laughs> we just had one person walk in. Yeah. Uh, so I see a lot of books here. I see the old Tata Sky remote there, the, all the old Nokia phones and everything. So that's very interesting. I see the old magazines on the tabletops as well. So what was the idea behind all this? So it all comes from the name, uh, The Breakfast Story, which is uh, coined by my younger son Cavalier. He also designed the logo. And uh, uh, basically this is a place we thought we will create for people to, you know, make their own stories. But at the same time, you know, uh, go back in time, uh, go back in memory time rather, uh, for all generations and they can go back and look at things that they have used uh, which, which bring, brings back uh, memories and stories for them to relate to maybe their friends, sometimes to their children, sometimes to their grandchildren. Yeah. Um, so you will find all these kind of, people call them antiques but I, I, I call them memories uh, which, which create a lot of you know stories in their mind. and. Uh, a lot of generations have not seen things which let's say for example audio cassettes the yeah. younger generation haven't seen it they don't know what it is so it's a kind of a story that people tell and you know get to know about what has happened in the earlier generations so you're taking people uh, down the memory, memory lane, lane yeah yes. right uh, so, so i see a lot of books here for the guests to read you know while they have their breakfast so that's amazing and i also see some drawings made by kids yeah. so what's the concept behind that uh, i mean first about the books let me tell you that uh, uh, people mistake it as a book cafe but this is not a book cafe per se 
we have books from uh, uh, from all genres actually you have management book to a comic also uh, for everybody there are english books there are marathi books there are hindi books um, the point here is reading as such uh, in this generation and i would say the future generation is actually reducing by the day and uh, people are getting more into the digital uh, world yeah. whether it is social media or anything else but uh, reading as such so we want to promote uh, reading we always wanted to promote i being an avid reader i want people to also right. read uh, that's the reason when we present the bills also to the guests we have uh, them presented in a book yeah. which we started a lot of people in nagpur are now following us but we started this concept of giving it in a book number 1 Second is about the uh, the drawings that you asked me. The drawings basically are made by children of all ages. Uh, they are basically uh, when children come in, we want them uh, to have a good time here. Uh, I have not yet seen in the last ten years a child when given a pen uh, or a crayon and a paper who doesn't draw. You know, he or she always draws something and. Uh, we keep them busy while doing that secondly we also want to uh, see that they are not hooked to either their parents mobiles or laptops or uh, tabs uh, so the parents are also very happy that you know the children are not uh, given that digital time while waiting for the food and they are kept busy not only busy but in a very creative manner and i would like to actually to show uh, you know the kind of drawings kind of uh, artwork that they have done amazing kind of work yeah. that and that's the reason why they want to come back again and again and then they bring their parents and friends also in yeah. and there are there are instances only i'll tell you there are a lot of kids who have come here 10 years back and 10 years back they were like real small and now they are in this still, still visiting yeah and they're still visiting and then some of them go back and Uh, see we we have all the drawings what we have done is we have collected them and bound them yeah so they they are so happy to see that the drawings are <laughs> oh, still there oh that's so you know? cute yeah. yeah it's very cute and they are very proud of it and now they go, that goes on their instagram page <laughs> yeah and anyway. i'm i'm also going to make a drawing this makes me feel like a kid so as we all can see the vibe and the ambience that's amazing right and even the songs like i'm i'm loving the songs so sir uh, did you ever think of opening up a different franchise you know in a different city or maybe in nagpur itself well that's a very interesting question actually uh, because in the last 10 years that we are operating now uh, there have been so many people more than 50 people from all across uh, uh, the country some from dubai also who wanted uh, a franchise of this franchise of this particular uh, restaurant because they found it very interesting uh, the only question i asked them was who is going to run the place uh, everybody said they had the money to do it they had the space to do it they had the people to do it they are in the same business they'll have some manager or uh, somebody who else would be running the place and that's not the vibe of this place this place is run by me my family uh and uh, basically the owners are there to meet the guests uh so uh none of them wanted to do that and as a reason why this this never took up took off as a franchise uh and never will probably the the point is that uh this place is made with a lot of passion uh, with a lot of heart and soul and uh, it's just impossible to franchise art and soul and that's the reason that it will never happen that way if at all there is somebody else who is as passionate as i am or our my family is about this kind of a place why would they need me they would do it on their own right we we just don't call them customers people who come in here they are our guests and uh, i call them guests because uh, we treat them as guests this place uh, i see it as a as an extension of my home my residence and we don't get customers to our residences right we always get guests and that's the reason we we call them guests so i want to know uh, your story behind this like what made you open the breakfast story and why just breakfast well uh, that's an interesting question because uh, um 
I wanted to have breakfast one day in Nagpur. This was about more than, uh, I'd say more than 13, 14 years back. And uh, I was alone at home and I thought I'll go out and have breakfast. But I didn't want to, uh, you know, have any South Indian food or uh, tarri poha, which is the famous dish of Nagpur or samosa <laughs> or any of those kind of uh, food. I wanted to have a nice English breakfast or maybe just a proper uh, egg dish. Unfortunately, the only place I was uh, left with was India Coffee House uh, in Dharampet. And I didn't want to go there because uh, the, the, same the, thing. the food is okay. Yeah. It's, the, it's the ambience, it's the kind of yeah. uh, uh, you know place. It didn't have that kind of vibe which I wanted, yeah. I was looking for. And that's the reason why I thought uh, maybe you know there is a scope for something like this yeah. in Nagpur and uh, definitely for breakfast. Uh, and then why only restricted to breakfast and then we thought breakfast timings are let us say whatever uh, 7 to 11 uh, and then you have the brunch and then you have lunch and then you have dinner. But then I thought uh, have you traveled so much there are places in the US or um, uh, in, in, in Europe where there are places where you get all day breakfast and I thought maybe that's a good idea to have an all day breakfast joint rather than uh, going into the dinner space. Right. So we, we close at 7 so Right. Uh, that's the reason we thought only breakfast. Yeah, so, so I see. I see an interesting menu here. So, how did you how did you come up with all of these things? Like, it's interesting. How did uh, you curate that? The, it's it's very uh, interestingly curated. The menu is because we have a lot of uh, uh, what people call as continental food, but we also have a lot of Indian food. Like, for example, you can have a, a Spanish breakfast or an American breakfast. Uh, which is curated, as well as you can have mutton kheema pao or a misal pao. Uh, so these are the, these are things which I would say uh, they are for all kinds of our guests. You know, people who like all kinds of uh, food. And when you have a group of people coming in, there is somebody would have a kheema pao, somebody would have an English breakfast, somebody would have a uh, garlic toast. It's completely different menus or some sandwiches. Yeah. So it's 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 there for everybody. You know, it's not only for if you go to a, let's say, a Domino's, for example, and if I had to give an example, you get only a pizza there, or something which is related to a pizza, yeah. or other places. So here, it's something you can get anything uh, from a continental to an Indian menu. Right. It's not a fusion kind of a menu. There are different dishes that are available. Yeah. But uh, also an interesting point here I would like to make is, uh, as I was saying that you know there are a lot of vegetarian uh, eating people, vegetarian, and we have non-vegetarian people. But there is a huge, uh, uh, you know, number of guests eating only egg dishes, you know, which funnily are called eggitarian, you know. Yeah. And so we thought we should have a lot of, uh, you know, the menu for them. For, so we have a lot of egg dishes uh, for the eggitarians. And it's very interestingly marked in our uh, menu card. If you see the red, all the red dots are for the non-vegetarian uh, right. dishes. And, uh, the green are of course for the wedge, but we have a, we have added a yellow dot, which is not there in any other menus that you will see around the world. Right, right. So we have a yellow dot, meaning that it's it's, it's for the vegetarian. It's dish. an vegetarian dish. Yeah. Okay. So uh, guys, as you all heard, breakfast story is exclusive for Nagpur. This interview is coming exclusively from Nagpur today. So thank you so much for joining. This has been a lovely time with Most you. Most welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Nagpur today and Avni for uh, for this particular. Interview. Thank you. Thank you very much.